Invent and AutoCAD have always had a, a love-love relationship with flight recorders. From the beginning where they used an import wizard to bring in your AutoCAD data into Inventor to then just the Control c Control v option and now they're using the AnyCAD option. So what I'm going to show today is just how to AnyCAD a, an AutoCAD drawing into an Inventor part, uh, create a 3D extrusion from it and then go back to the, uh, the AutoCAD part, modify it and show how it updates in your in your in your um, inventor part okay so we've got this I'm gonna go to to my inventor and open up a new drawing so with this new drawing I'm not going to go normally I do control I start a new sketch control C control V uh, the the drawing in um, what I'm going to do now is because I want to create a, a live link or an associative link with it I'm going to import it so manage import and then go find my DWG. Ask me which work plan I'd like to put on, XY plan, and where the origin is going to be as well. Okay, so there's my little car. Inserting an AutoCAD DWG created associative DWG underlay. Okay, great. So I'm on the right track. So now what we can do is we can go and create a sketch, and or we're going to go and start modeling off that. If I had to just go extrude, it doesn't see any... Uh, any any uh, any geometry that it can actually or closed loops that it can actually pull an extrusion from so I'm going to do a little bit of work before I can actually get this um, working so create a new sketch on my XY plane and like as in normal you think let's go and project geometry because you want to use it but alas it does not work okay so what we've got for this is our project G DWG geometry so by projecting DWG geometry, we're able to use that to do things like extrusions and the like. Okay, so there we've got that. And uh, once I'm done with that, I can finish sketch. So it's gone yellow, like as if I've projected my sketch, but this is actually projecting a DWG that I've imported into, into, the, into the drawing. So let's go and extrude this. I'm just going to extrude my two little wheels. I notice the wonderful new way that we can... Uh, do the, the the extrude command and there we go so now what needs to be done is we need to go back to our AutoCAD model and let's go and stretch this so let's stretch and just change the shape of it so there we go now it's a stretch limousine so with that just remember to save otherwise the changes don't get reflected back into inventor uh, open up inventor click on the update button and there you've seen I've updated my model and the extrusions have followed as well okay so just another option to be able to use your AutoCAD uh, DWG data inside Inventor not breaking links being associative um, and, and just another great workflow from Autodesk thank you very much